I'm Travis with Mark Williams Enterprises. Today I want to go over how driveline angles can affect the operation of U-joints and the drive shaft. What I have here is a demonstration. We're going to consider this the transmission side of the car and this the rear end. What I want to show is basically when the U-joints are on a parallel plane with each other, they're going to spin at a constant speed. So we're going to start on the drive side, transmission side. Go to the drive shaft and then the rear. As you can see, they're all spinning at a constant speed. When we get off a of parallel, which I'm going to show you in a second, is that the drive shaft starts to oscillate. The rear U-joint is going to start going in an oval. So what I want to show you here is I'm going to put some angle into this. I'm exaggerate it a little bit. We're going to spin it up again. As you can see, drive side, of course, is going to stay constant. Drive shaft, and then the rear. As you can hear, the U joint is constantly slowing down and speeding up as it's oscillating. So, what we want to do is we want to bring those back to parallel and we'll get rid of that problem. And show that even though there is angle, but as long as there's parallel, as long as the U joints are parallel with each other, we're going to stay at a constant speed. And once again, once we get off a of parallel, I want to show you how much it's going to start oscillating. And as you can see, the rear is slowing down and speeding up constantly.